If you are new to Linux gaming or want to explore its capabilities, you most likely also want to know how to get those fancy RTX features running. In this video, we will learn how to do exactly this. I will use the term RTX, which is usually associated with NVIDIA, for everything related to real-time ray tracing, deep learning upscaling and frame generation for AMD, Intel and NVIDIA hardware. But no worries, in cases where the GPU vendor is important, I will let you know. My name is Vortex Akarontic and let's get into it. Vulkan vs DirectX 12 The most important distinction we need to make is whether an RDX capable software is running using the Vulkan API or DirectX 12. For Vulkan applications and up-to-date Linux distributions, there are usually no tweaks required and RDX features should work right away, assuming you have RDX capable hardware of course. To find out what your game uses, I recommend looking up PC Gaming Wiki, which has a lot of comprehensive information about games, but sometimes also other software. Or by looking up the system requirements of the application in question. MISA If you run an AMD GPU using the open source MISA driver and a point release distribution such as Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint or anything which has a fixed release schedule spanning a year or more, you may need to check the version of your MISA installation first. To do so depends on the Linux distribution you use and whether there is a GUI package manager available or just command line. MISA is an important part of the open source GPU driver stack on Linux. Find out MISA version. APT For Ubuntu and Debian based Linux distributions you can use the APT command as follows. First, open up a terminal window and enter apt info misa vulkan drivers. The output should look as follows. The version is listed at the second line of the package information. Zipper. For OpenSUSE and Gecko Linux, you can use the zipper command as follows. Open up a terminal window and enter zipper info MISA. The output should look like this. The version is at the third line of the package info. DNF. For Fedora, Nobara and other Fedora spins, you can use the DNF command as follows. Open up a terminal window and enter DNF info MISA Vulkan drivers. The output should look as follows. The version is listed at the second line of the package information. Pacman. For Arch Linux, Valve SteamOS on Steam Deck and other Arch based distributions, you can use the pacman command as follows. Open up a terminal and enter pacman uppercase Q MISA. The package version should be displayed right away. Summary If you run Fedora 39, Nobara 39, SteamOS 3.5, or probably any Arch Linux based distribution, open source Tumbleweed, Eon, Kalpa, or Gecko Linux rolling, there is not much to worry about, and your MISA installation should support hardware ray tracing just fine. But Generally speaking, the following rules apply. For MISA as of version 23.2 and newer, ray tracing is enabled by default for all ray tracing capable applications. You can now skip to the Vulkan direct to d part of this video for applications using DirectX 12. However, performance can still be mixed depending on your game and the actual version of MISA you run. For any version of MISA below 23.2, hardware ray tracing is enabled on a per application basis. If any ray tracing settings are disabled in your application, you can force it to be enabled by using the environment variable red v underscore perf test equals rt. However, the performance might not be very good. If your MISA version is older than 21.3, there is no ray tracing support at all. Update your MISA installation or your distribution to a newer release if possible. NVIDIA if you run an NVIDIA GPU using the open source driver stick, there is no full Vulkan support yet as of making this video, even when using NVK, the open source NVIDIA Vulkan driver. Therefore, no RTX support in any shape or form. Please install the proprietary NVIDIA driver according to your distribution and also at least driver version 510.16.2. Earlier versions do not have RTX support. If you already have the latest proprietary NVIDIA driver installed, you're good to go and RDX should work just fine with Vulkan based applications. The performance is up to par with games running on Windows. DirectX 12 and Vulkan Direct 3D If you run an RDX capable game, chances are good that it runs using DirectX 12 Ultimate, for which there is no Linux support at all. However, tools like Proton or Wine make use of VKD3D or VKD3D-Proton to translate DirectX 12 to Vulkan. But even if your driver setup would allow for ray tracing, DLSS and such using Vulkan, we also need to tell Vulkan Direct 3D, short VKD3D, to enable it as well. Because as of making this video, VKD3D will not enable DirectX 12 RTX features by default, but we can enable it with just a few tweaks. Enable VKD3D RDX. If you run the open source driver stack for RMD and Intel Arc GPUs, you just need to set the following environment variables. VKD3D underscore config equals DXR11 colon DXR. 
and VKD3D underscore feature underscore level equals 12 underscore 12. If you run an NVIDIA GPU, you need also to set the following variables. Proton underscore enable underscore NVAPI equals 1. Proton underscore enable underscore NGX underscore updata equals 1. Setting environment variables. In case you don't know how to set environment variables at all, I show you a few ways of doing so. Bash RC. If you want RTX always to be enabled, no matter the application or launcher you use, you can add them to your .bash RC file located in your user directory. This file will be executed whenever you log into your computer. You may need to unhide hidden files in your file browser first or use the ls-a or ls-la or ll-a command from a terminal window to make it visible. Then open up that file in your favorite text editor and add the following lights. Export vkd3d underscore feature underscore level equals 12 underscore 2. Export vkd3d underscore config equals dxr11 colon cologne dxr. And if you have MISA below 23.2 and newer than 21.3, also set export radv underscore perf test equals rt. For NVIDIA, also add export proton underscore enable underscore nvapi equals 1 and export proton underscore ngx underscore updata equals 1. Steam. If you want to set those variables for individual games running via Steam, you can add them as game launch options as follows. First, click on manage, properties and navigate to launch options and enter for MISA 23.2 and newer VK D3D underscore feature underscore level equals 12 underscore 2. VK D3D underscore config equals DXR11 cologne DXR. For older MISA versions between 23.2 and 21.3, add RADV underscore perf test equals RT as well. Or for NVIDIA GPUs, add proton underscore enable underscore NVAP equals 1. And proton underscore NGX underscore updater equals 1. And finally, Close the entire line with percent, command percent at the very end of the launch options. Bottles. If you want to set those variables for individual environments using bottles, do the following. First, open up your bottle environment. Second, navigate to settings and make sure dxvk-nvapi is enabled if you run an NVIDIA GPU. Make sure vkd3d is enabled and scroll down until you read environment variables. And add the following entries. Name vkd3d underscore config value dxr11 cologne dxr name vkd3d underscore feature underscore level value 12 underscore 12. If you run visa between 23.2 and 21.3 also add an entry name radv underscore perf test with a value rt. Heroic Games Launcher. If you want to set those variables for individual games running via Heroic Games Launcher do the following. First bring up the settings dialog of the desired game. Make sure auto install slash update vkd3d on prefix is enabled and make sure auto install slash update dxvk nvapi on prefix is enabled in case you run an NVIDIA GPU. Then choose the settings tab advanced. Go down until you read environment variables and add the following entries 1 per line. Name vkd3d underscore config value dxr11 cologne dxr. Name vkd3d underscore feature underscore level value 12 underscore 2. If you run MISA between 23.2 and 21.3, also add an entry name radv underscore perf test value rt. Conclusion. With all these bits and bytes in place, you should now be able to enjoy the latest RTX features on your AMD, Intel or NVIDIA GPU running with Linux. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll meet another video for more fun Linux stuff. Have a great day and enjoy those shiny reflections, accurate shadows, global illumination, deep learning driven upscaling, frame generation and more. Bye.